Hey guys, it's Molly with Design Loves Detail. We've got an exciting day planned. I am literally blank slate in my own living room about to see if I was right or if Ben was right on how this room should be set up. So let's do it. So I'm in our living room, family room space that really is like the core of our house. It's empty and it hasn't been empty since like a year and a half ago when we moved in. And I love this room, love the fireplace. And it feels actually so huge. Sorry, it's probably echoey because um, there's nothing on the floor or anything. But when we styled it the first time, and by we, I mean me, I wanted to have a sofa and chairs and kind of like a little bit more formal setup. Ben naturally wanted to be more casual, like have a sectional, more seating, more like a TV lounge area. So I, well, due to a couple of things, one was we took our sling chairs, you know, the cool metal frame, like X on the side chairs that everybody loves. They're so cool. We loved them. So the other chairs that I had ordered for our last flip house were delayed. And so I thought, well, we'll just take our <laughs> chairs, we'll borrow them to stage it because we weren't necessarily going to sell the furniture with that house. So we stole our chairs and put them over there. They looked really good, by the way. I think they looked really good. Um, I think you guys did too. You can go check out that video if you missed it. It is the uh, flip house, most recent flip house living room reveal. Well, what happened was they looked so good that the homeowners <laughs> wanted to buy them and really actually all the furniture. So we sold them and then we had no chairs. And then my chairs came that are going in the new house. So I put them here. They looked really good, but needed them for the new house. So then we had poofs, just like random poofs from around the house that our, that our kids were sitting on. They were fun, but also it wasn't really practical very long term because there wasn't very much seating and also Ben was kind of doing weird stuff with extra furniture pieces like he made a towel table it was really functional because it was by the pool but it was like console table I got and he fills it with towels I was like this is not a cabana but it's okay it's a totally a practicality thing right men versus women sometimes anyway so that got taken away in this refresh and we are going to now put it back together I literally haven't even done it like you're doing it with me live so I don't even know how this is gonna look but I found this sectional that I fell in love with. Yes, links are gonna be included because um, this was a new brand that I saw this sectional and was like, yes, let's do that one. I will commit for that one. And they have some other really cool pieces too that I'm gonna show you. So anyways, so we're doing this room makeover on the fly. See how it goes. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what you guys think. If you like my setup with the sofa and chairs or if you're more, you want more casual feel like what Ben wanted with the sectional. So here we go. So I'm gonna start with the rug. That's always like the foundation. I got a new one recently that's like a washable rug. Castlery has some really cute rugs too. I needed a bigger one, a bigger size for this room. So this is one that I got. Oh, it was like on a way bare flash deal. I think some of you guys got it too. It's pretty good. So we'll try that. We're going to start that as our foundation and kind of build from there. So this rug, it's a thinner one. I probably will want to get a rug pad, but we're just going to kind of try it out first and put everything in. But this is a machine washable one. I'm going to be working on sharing more machine washable type rugs because I mean, now that they exist, we are busy families that make messes on rugs, right? So I do feel like with washable rugs, you do need a rug pad though, because they just don't have a lot of cushion because they have to be like thin enough to fit in the washing machine, which I haven't washed one this size. Has anybody washed a nine by 12 washable? Like I think this might have to go to like like an industrial thing. Anyways, but this one's pretty cute. I like that it's more neutral, but still has some good pattern. Looks kind of like a vintage. This room is kind of tricky. I feel like placing a rug because like you want to center on the fireplace, which maybe I will do, but also it's just kind of like one of those rooms where a lot of the space is um, almost like walkway space. So you have to keep like that clear and I'm not sure exactly where the, the sexual is going to go, but I think I'm going to pull this a little bit this way and go a little bit um, more so we're center right there. Houses are so quirky. Like, you know, it's not lit. like this wall here is less space than this wall here. Like they're not symmetrical. So it's like, anyway, gives us some design challenges sometimes, but we'll figure it out. Oh yeah, I did keep the mirror because that mirror is kind of a classic. Somebody, I remember someone really disliked the mirror. You still here, audience member? <laughs> well, let's start with the sectional next because it's the biggest. One thing that is so interesting, I think when you like change the layout of a room, it takes you a minute to like kind of like process because it feels so weird, but then I can see how it's kind of good. This is the Hamilton sectional from Castlery and it is so pretty. And what made me so excited was obviously love the style of it because it's very modern and like works with a variety of styles, which is great. It's just like just really clean lines and simple, which is so great. But what's amazing is that it's it's a warm white, but it has such good reviews. I feel like it's so hard to find a sectional or so 
sofa that's like a you know more of a true white zone that actually has good reviews so this has really really pretty fabric it's like got a woven texture and it's just really like substantial but still soft like so i can see why people are loving it and then the cushion covers these um zip off so you can take this off and like take them to the cleaners probably dry clean that's pretty nice i think and then yeah i just really like the shape of it it's got a high-end look i will say it's a little bit on the firmer side but like the kind that you break in you know what i mean like you can just tell it's really good quality like the fill and everything it's not this one isn't not a down fill but it's got like um it's got like a good feel i think yeah people said it was really comfy so on review so i think it must break in a little bit too um it is still pretty soft when you sit down but um, oh, especially this part. Yeah, this part's good. What I like about this layout so far is that because the sofa was backing here before, and so I kind of feel like it did really cut this room in half. So even though we have this other setup right now and part of it is still blocked, just having like this open walkway straight to the kitchen feels kind of nice. So now I just got to figure out the rest of this room. It One thing that is like the big plus too is that what Ben wanted was more seating that actually faces the TV because it was kind of like before you had to like lay on the TV or it's well, it's not the TV. Lay on the couch, you know what I mean? Put your feet up and you're facing it, but not like the whole couch was facing it. So this is a lot more seating that's actually facing the TV. So I see that. I can see your, your point there. But what's hard also is this room is long. So like I'm going to bring in some other pieces, but I'm worried that it's going to feel like there's too much space back here and that that's too far. So we might have to shift a little bit this way. And I'm not loving how this end of the rug is sticking out right there because nobody wants to be like tripping on that. So maybe we need to move the rug a little. Do you want to set that down and help me adjust yeah so maybe we're gonna adjust the sofa a little that way also these two pieces like have those clicky things that click it together we're not doing it right now just because of time and trying to get it put together but um fyi it does connect like so it won't just come apart easily all right so we shifted the sofa a little bit that way um to hide that edge of the rug because i didn't want that little tiny piece sticking out um still ideally i think the rug should go a little bit that way but for now i'll probably just leave it because we don't have all day anyway i'm gonna bring in um i got like a more loungy type option for instead of coffee table like a it's like a leather is it real leather or faux leather Ben do you know let's investigate So here's this ottoman. It is a real um, top grain leather, so it's super nice. It's more low profile, so it kind of goes with the style of the sectional and will be, I think, a really good spot to kind of kick your feet up. And I love that this adds like some richness and warmth and kind of, I, I think this like, plays so well on the rug because it has a little bit of those warmer tones, it, like really brings those out. Um, Cause this rug's kind of neutral, but then it's, you can almost like appreciate the subtle color in it more with a piece like this to kind of like pull it out. So love that. And then and I have a couple chairs we're gonna bring in here too. These chairs are so cute. I'm loving how they look in here and the curved back on them. Definitely like very current to have um, kind of some play with like curved uh, lines in furniture. And I, I'm enjoying that because it kind of mixes things up. Um, these are boucle fabric, which if you're like me, I actually thought it was called bocal for a while. It's boucle, it's French, right? You knew it was boucle? Well, anyways, I've since learned. Thank you, Shandon, who taught me. We're gonna try a couple different tables here. I want a little something between these, so I'll bring in a couple options, but these are also, um, so the ottoman and also these chairs are all from Castlery as well. They have seriously some really cool stuff. In fact, while I'm thinking about it, we'll just drop over here real quick and look at this rug. This is from them too, and it's so cute. I love the texture in it uh, and just that it kind of goes with everything. So um, yeah, just a quick fun break. All right, so, tables i've brought in a couple i got this little guy it's kind of cute it's got an organic feel could go here it's little and little and cute let me stand back it's kind of like gets a little lost maybe i'm gonna have to slide these a little bit because the other one's bigger these are sturdy yeah it does feel little huh feels like a baby i used this same one of these at like um one of our remodel houses next to the tub so they're really cute for like a little side thing like that like a side tray table or something yeah these are heavier than i expected they're really solid is that better babe size wise Oh yeah, because that's sure. it. Yeah, I kind of think that they need to like hug the fireplace a little more just because of walkway and I don't want them too close to the rug. I mean, I guess we could move them a little. I'll, I'll assess that, but let me look at the table. I love that concrete and wood 
mix. Maybe that's the one. But I also like my wood one. Where are the wood ones that were in here? Maybe let's try that. Cause I don't love this either. I'm gonna try one more option. Cause I had those other wood ones in here that I love. So maybe we just keep that. I'm gonna scoot the chair over a little though. Cause those are even bigger. And then that will get us more center. I love how when you like have rugs that have like a line down the center or like a pattern that's right down the center, you can always like know your center point. It's kind of helpful. Or even when you're like lining things up on the side, you can see where it hits on the rug. Like I got, I have both of these on the same line. So I know that they're level with each other. Thank you. Bringing in the big guns. Not the big jokes. <laughs> I was gonna see if he was just gonna ignore it or, or react. Did not ignore. Okay, so if that's center, it's like right there. That means this chair still has to go over a tiny. Yeah, maybe that one. It's very sculptural. I like that. Yeah, that's probably it's probably the one. I'm liking this setup. I won't lie, because it just feels, it actually feels bigger. Like the room feels bigger. So we got more seating in, I don't know. I'm intrigued. Maybe you were right all along, babe. This is kind of far over. Once was enough. <laughs> So I think we'll bring in some other pillows with maybe a little bit of um, color to tie in with the rug, but I really am liking this. Like I f it feels like there's a more like space than I would have expected having such a big piece in here. Like I thought a sectional would be too big, but it seems to be working. And maybe before I get to like textiles, might be fun to bring in some greenery over here. And I love this. This is like a giant vase and it's like concrete with like the best texture. It's one of my favorites. It's so cool. So I use it sometimes on a, like I've used it on our dining table with like greenery, but it also can work to put um, a tree in if you find a skinny enough pot thingy. Actually, I don't know if this is skinny enough. Whoop. About to find out if this one will fit. I'm not actually totally sure if it'll fit. It's gonna be a no. It fits. <laughs> So close. Yeah, it's so far. All right, we gotta try a different one. So I love that pot, but also it's not very big. So we're gonna go with this guy because it's a wide mouth bass. Well, proof that I'm doing this on the fly. How about that? But I do like this tree. And sometimes I put um, like packing paper or old catalogs, you know, under trees. I've probably talked about that some, but that can give you a little more height, you know, and then you can put like river rocks on the top. Um, I should probably do a little tutorial, like showing exactly how I do that start to finish. Let me know in comments if you would be interested in that or if you kind of get the just anyway that gives us a little bit of greenery a little bit of life to this corner so a little accessorizing here some pillows we'll do some last little finishing touches all right so one thing to keep in mind with this new setup is that we can't have anything like too high because we have our tv now behind this table like i used to have this table on the side so there was one that had a lamp on it and stuff but now i can't really have a lamp i don't think without interfering and so um i think i'm gonna do a couple books here um i love this thing i got it recently from world market is that too linky for for you link haters or is this okay curious to know on that too but these are really good like to put on a stack of books or something um my book stash is over there so and coffee table books are where it's at man like i get mine mostly from tj maxx i'll see if i can link some they're hit and miss on what they have like you know because it just depends what what comes in stock table has some fuzzies but i love them like design books so good yeah you can kind of get the gist i just like I'm gonna keep this styling really simple because it's kind of my vibe, but that's cute. You have reading material, a tree next to you, need a little something for here. But also I, ha I get a lot of questions on how to style like TV stands because people don't know what to do. It doesn't block the TV and is still cute. So I'll work on that here. Here are a couple randoms. That's probably too tall, but isn't that cute? I got that recently. Apparently Ben told me that there was a piece that was like that, that I had that the kids are really mad about because <laughs> it's blocking their TV viewing. Oh paper mache bowls. I, well, I like bowls in general. Like I think they're nice because it's, you know, mixes shapes up, especially like this is kind of a cool um, cylindrical or not <laughs> cone like cone base. Anyways, but I, I think that's a good add. And then plaster textures and like paper mache type textures. I'm a sucker for Like I just love them. So I'll put that there for now. Get a couple more things. Thinking just simple, like another book over here. And then I wanted a little bit more of that warm wood accent. You could do that with other things if you, if you don't like links, you could use another wood type of item. Not like like a magnifying glass with a wood handle or something. <laughs> but I think it's nice to have a little bit of warmth over here. Um, Cause this one's a little bit cooler with the gray wash. So yeah, that's probably good there. I'm gonna bring in little textiles, grab a pillow maybe and some. For the fireplace, I'm thinking candle, candlesticks. Need to grab some candles for these at the store. 
I don't know what happened to all of our candles, but those are nice and simple, clean, kind of modern, traditional, kind of good. Maybe something to balance it out over there, but pillow wise, I love this one. Um, I need to see if they still have this. It's actually a Target one, but like the, it's like a velvet and it is so nice. Like it looks so high end. Um, I'm liking, I love using velvet, especially like at fall time. Um, it just feels very luxurious, like the season. These tiny stacking bowls are kind of cute. You will put them there. Okay, um, this was a super cute throw. I think it was like TJ Maxx online where I got this one, but I love, love the that fringy edge on it. And then it has just kind of this crinkle to it. I don't know, it feels like restoration hardware or something. Um, just like pretty texture and very soft, snuggleable for fall. Stand back. I have to keep standing back and looking at stuff. I actually think I might flip that ottoman for looking at it. It's pretty cute. Let me get one more pillow maybe. Coming back with more pillows. So a lot of times I think it's like actually kind of nice to keep the pillows in the same realm of color because it simplifies the design. So these are some more of that similar color to the one I put from Target. These are a home goods find. And then I brought this guy because it's so dang cute. Good. I love a, like chunky tex knit texture for fall. So this is a cute one. I think we're like in pretty good shape here. What do you think? Should I flip that around, the ottoman? I think from like over there, it looks better. Functionally, I think it's better the other way. So I think we're pretty well done here. Let me know what you guys think. If you like the new setup or the old setup better, we'll put a picture so you can see how it used to be. And we will, uh, we'd love to have you guys subscribe, hit that bell to be notified of future videos. Um, links again are in description for Shopping Castlery. Uh, they have some seriously great pieces. I'm super excited about these and I will see you guys next time.